Hey guys, in today's video, I will go over the implementation of gradient boosting regressor in Python. Gradient boosting is a machine learning model that consists of ensemble of weak learners that are typically decision trees that together form a strong learner. Gradient boosting is also regarded as iterative functional gradient descent algorithm. So while gradient descent algorithm search in the parameter space, gradient boosting search in the function space, which in our case will be decision trees. In the last video, we learned about ADA boosting algorithm that is kind of training in Q based on the previous model ERO. However, in gradient descent, we train a weak learner, but the next model will be doing optimization only on the error between the weak learner predicted values and the ground truth. That is called the residual error. Now let's see the algorithm. The input is of course a training set, a loss function, which in our case is the mean square error and a number of iterations m that will define the number of weak learners that we are going to have. And then we initial the model with constant values. Now we iterate m times uh, to create m base models. The first step is to compute the pseudo residual, which is the error between the less prediction to the ground truth. And then on step two, we train the base learner on the residual error and not on the real labels. On step three, we want to find a gamma that will achieve a minimal new loss. And after finding that value, we update on step four uh, FM, which are the new predicted values based on the new model. The output is the predicted values. Okay, now let's go over the implementation of gradient boosting regressor. So uh, first we import uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and uh, also from SKLR and we import model selection, decision tree regressor, and explained uh, variance score. Then we have uh, the class, and the init function that gets a learning rate uh, with a default value of 0 0.1, the number of estimators, and a base learner, which is a decision tree regressor. Uh, then the fit function gets uh, the training set and some extra parameters. We set an empty list of base learners and then we initial the first base model with constant values. So it will be a zero numpy array in the shape of Y. And then we just update the model with this array. So right now FM will be equal to F0. Now we want to plot the training progress. So I added here a plot with 25 subplots, like the number of estimators. You don't have to do that, but it is nice to see the training progress. So I recommend doing that. After that, we go over uh, a loop and create the base learners. So on each iteration, we check that the pseudo residuals in comparison to the previous model. So in this solution, I used mean square error as our loss function. So this is the the derivative of the loss function, y minus fm. Uh, then we take this error that we found and train the next model on that. So first we initial a base learner with some parameters and then we fit the model on x and pseudo residual and add this model to the models list. So now we can calculate the new model predictions value by taking the previous values and adding the prediction of the base model multiplied by a learning rate. Now each iteration we plot the um, model predictions and we will see how it changes with every new base learner that we train. 
So we plot Y as the ground truth and FM as the model predictions. And the title is the iteration number. So after training is done, we do plot.show and return uh, the model predictions. Now the predict function uh, gets a test set and initial an empty array for the predictions. Then we go over each base learner and gets its prediction and update Y pred accordingly. So each time we add the predictions to the previous ones because each base learner was trained only on the arrow of the last base learner. So we need to get all models predictions. And that's it. Okay, now let's test our model. So this time I used uh, the fish market dataset from Kaggle. So you can see that the model contains some uh, features like species, weight, uh, length one, length two, length three, height and width. So our predicted value Y is going to be the fish weights. The feature species is a categorical one. So in order to be able to use it in our training, we have to change its values to be numerical values. So I used the function get dummies from pandas to get a one hot vector that will represent this feature. So now we drop weights and species from the training features and uh, concatenate the new representation of species to X. And now when printing the first few lines of X, you can see that it contains 12 features. After we done pre-processing the data, we can split the data into train and test sets with uh, the model selection function from sklearn. And then we define the model and train it on our training data. See that I set max depth of two for the decision trees based models. Uh, when the training is done, you can see the training process in this plot. So you can see that on the first iteration, the predicted values in orange were not even close to the ground truth uh, values. And then on the second iteration and on each iteration after that, it gets closer and closer until the last iteration where you can see the predicted um, values very close to the actual ground truth. After that, you can get the predictions for the test set and print the accuracy score. And then I also created a plot for the test set versus the ground truth. So you could see that the predictions were very similar. So now let's see this model on sklearn. So from sklearn ensembles, you can import gradient boosting regressor. And then I set the model with the same parameters I used in my model. So the number of estimator is 25, the learning rate is 0 0.1, and the loss function is the squared error function, and the depth of the base learners is two. And then we fit the model on the same train set and predict values for the test set and print the model score. You can see that it's pretty much the same score as our model. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.